Hi everyone, Larry Satchel here. You're tall sitting down. I know. With my granddaughter Peyton. Hi. We both saw this hack on Instagram and we want to try it. The hack is that you just shave off the skin, hard skin of the pumpkin and let your chickens carve it out. So we're going to try it. We've got a pumpkin. We've got chickens. Let's do it. So this looks like the best face. I think you need to draw a face on there first. Okay. All right, so draw the fish you want. Okay. Very symmetrical. Oh, a vampire pumpkin. All right, now we got to I take the eyebrows. Well, if you want, do okay, whatever I'm you want. Eyebrows. It's up to you. Eyebrows. That's not supposed to be me, is it? No. <laughs> All right, now we have to get the guts out. Okay. Ugh, I haven't carved a pumpkin in a long time. I haven't done. I used to get like a bunch of little pumpkins and paint them. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think Libby and Ian painted them last year. But one year when we were in Florida in October. We made them. I forgot how hard this was. I know, it's really thick pumpkin. It is. <clears throat> Yay! That was a kind of trick. If you just like go around, you just start to take them off the sides. And yeah. Just scoop them out. I'm going to scoop them up with my hands. I have some vinyl gloves there for if you want. I'll get down dirty. Ew! Peyton is going to the FFA National Convention because she was the state winner in her division. Something about... It was horses and um, dewormer. Dewormer and which ones were the most effective? Is yes. That it? it was how effective is ivermectin dewormer on different horses. And there were like different ages of horses, different breeds, everything. So she's competing for the national title in that division. And if I win, I get a thousand dollar scholarship. Woo! That would be nice. No. I'm doing it again this year. I'm doing a different project on the bedding of horse stalls and cow stalls. With like different sh different shavings sh and shavings? like mats in the stalls. One of my friends in Canada that uh, has a dairy farm used newspapers oh, cool. and shredded them up. Had a big shredder. It was like a, it looked like a hurricane when he put the papers in there because he would put a, like a bunch of papers in there and the really? thing would chew it up and spit it out into the stalls. I would be scared of the horses eating them. Or like they get ripped up or something. I don't know. I th I don't know how good it has to be, but they probably eat the seeds. Yeah, but we can give them the seeds and the, that stuff. Ugh. All right, so now on on this, you've got to just uh, like with one of these knives, kind of carve a little bit. Yeah, just take the skin off. All right. He's got a face. He has a face. You think the chickens are going to really cut this thing out? I think they should. That's a really thick. They've got to dig deep. All right. Let's go get a camera for the chickens. chicken coop and scoop all that stuff into the bowl. All I need right. to clean my knives.
It's working. Um, Well, I had to run some errands, uh, and uh, I see that they didn't stay in the lines, but they have broken through. Um, I have that other camera there, but our internet is out, so I'm not sure if that's recording anything or not. And uh, I'm going to leave this on here for a few more minutes while I put my tools away from a job I've been doing, and uh, see if they might come back to it. <laughs> right now, it's a pretty scary pumpkin. They didn't stay in the lines. Well, the camera over here, Peyton, wasn't recording because we were offline for two days. It, chewed a big hole in the back here and it almost broke through so I put duct tape over that today I just put this out there and they're going crazy they don't really seem to be interested in the eyes we'll see what they do I'll put it out here I'll come back at lunch and see what they've carved out for us boy you ladies are loud all right, so Peyton and I just came back out and put that uh, time-lapse footage on here, and I could see they're not going to go through those eyes. So I think I'm going to cheat a little bit and help them. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in the middle of this eye and do the nose too. You know, maybe, maybe they'll go for it more. Okay, Peyton, we're in full cheat mode now. So <laughs> they had such a big hole. You'll see it in the finished product. They had such a big hole in the mouth. They were almost went through the bottom. So I've covered all that up and now they're working on the nose. I'm still working on that eye yet. So I'm not sure how that person on Instagram got them to 
do such a good job. But uh, I don't know if it's cheating if I show you exactly what I did. But uh, it looks like we're going to have a pretty scary pumpkin. Well, here it is, Peyton. Uh, I know you're on fall break, enjoying some time with your dad, but uh, it didn't take the chickens long. It looks pretty scary. Here's, I don't know why they started back here, but they have almost broke through. I don't think they'll ever have their own show on the Food Network, but uh, this is our chicken carved jack-o'-lantern. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Peyton, for your help. Always good spending time with your grandchildren. Ooh.